Hi, Jim Martin with the Charleston Forest Conservancy, and today we're out at Colonial Lake, and we're looking at sweetgrass. Yes, over the last few weeks, I've been getting lots of questions about should I or should I not cut my sweetgrass back? Um, sweetgrass is one of those plants where the answer to that is yes or no, uh, or maybe. <laughs> it just depends on what you want. For example, the sweetgrass that we're looking at right here, which is, by the way, one of the most um, planted native grasses that we have here in the low country, and it is a perfect plant for us to grow. But as you can see with this, some of the leftover stalks that we have on here, they um, are turning brown. And then at the same time, you still have green growth that's left over from last year that, while it doesn't look like it's doing a lot of growth this time of year, it's still green and pretty. So normally what I do is I look at the plant and I say, well, does it look too brown, too many uh, brown pieces for me to go ahead and um, lead it like it is? And if that, the answer is yes, then I go ahead and decide to cut it back. It's a great time of year to get out in our parks. The Charleston Parks Conservancy works in over 20 parks. And we have a fantastic event coming up called A Walk in the Parks. And you can learn more about it at awalkintheparks.org. Sign up. And as you walk, ride your bike, or however you move around in the parks, you keep track of it. And through that whole period, you'll learn a little bit about each of our different parks and uh, information that you probably didn't know. So go ahead and sign up today and join us in the parks.